Okay, Jason. Well, we keep seeing examples of things getting out of control in other cities, such as last night in St. Louis, when four police officers were shot during protests there. Been vandalism like uh, last night in California when someone used heavy machinery to destroy the storefront of a Best Buy store. Here in Detroit, the trend has been toward more peaceful protesting. Fewer incidents, less damage, more conversation between people of authority and people who want to be heard. Local 4 defender Sean Lay has a closer look at some of the people who are making that possible, Sean. Well, we're talking about real Detroiters here, and every night when that curfew hits, here at Michigan and 3rd, there is a confrontation between groups that do not want to go home. They want to keep protesting and perhaps provoke that uh, response from police. So we're going to show you real uh, Detroiters who are here who are taking a stand defending their city. And at the same time, I want you to listen closely because a deputy police chief also had a very emotional statement today about his interaction with some protesters. I've got nothing but love. White officers, black officers, everybody thanking me for kneeling to support George Floyd. Nothing but thanks. Overwhelming emotion from Detroit Police Deputy Chief Todd Bettison describing how and why he took a knee with protesters. As Detroit police officers, we feel what you feel. I expressed that Chief Craig called it for what it was. The first police chief in the nation said it was murder. When I saw it, I knew it was murder the first day. Deputy Chief Bettison, Chief Craig, Mayor Duggan, all saying Detroit is leading the nation, allowing protests to happen, but not allowing chaos to break out. So much of it having to do with the relationships built with people like Maurice Hardwick, known as Pastor Mo. Let's go, Black Lives Matter. But guess what? Your life matter. Now go home. Police trusting Pastor Mo to help defuse tense situations. I watched the officers go from night before, riot gear, pepper spray, running, fight, grabbing, to last night they pulled their riot gear off and threw it in the van. And I said, thank you, Lord. And Detroiters, like rapper Trick Trick. Trey Little. This woman named Gabrielle Wilson. We understand that and we are trying to leave. Just don't hurt them. All defending Detroit. back here live now. So the mayor and the police chief and a lot of good feelings uh, here today about what happened last night. The Detroiters stepped in, able to calm things down. Police uh, then stepping back, uh, allowing uh, protesters to stay past curfew, but then things were diffused. I got to tell you guys, very different feel tonight. A new group of protesters came in. They were not interested in talking. Police said, we will escort you. They said, no, thank you. And there's a, a strong feeling tonight that new protesters are here wanting to prompt a reaction from police. So we'll have to see when that curfew hits at 8 o'clock tonight. We're live tonight. Sean Lee, Local 4 Defenders. Let's hope that's not the case, but we know we'll uh, continue to follow it and see what happens. Sean, we appreciate it. Now